No, uh, in the last minute. Yep. Um, yeah, Israel was my dream, and I was blessed, and by God's timing, we were able to, to step on that and the holy man of God. And we're going to show you a picture where, where we've been through. It's um, the Nazareth that we have in my life that we went through because they preserved the, the old place to see what was before during that biblical uh, times. And yeah, just to let you know, Israel is, is not Wonderland, it's, it's not Disney. There's nothing spectacular about it, but to tell you that frankly, it's a, it's a spiritual enrichment, and you can, you can say as you read the Bible, that I was there. I walked through the streets of, of those biblical times, and you'll be proud about it, and be what you've been through. And this one is a, it's a replica of the old um, Nazareth. It's a synagogue where Jesus read the Bible in, in Isaiah. They preserve that place, and this is a synagogue. And that there's a small table in there where the, the scroll was, was on. And, and here Jesus read that, the, the Bible in Luke 4, chapter 4. Verses 14 to 21. Just read it for yourself and in this time. Just uh, return to Galilee in the power of the Spirit, and news about him spread through the whole countryside. He turned to the synagogue, and everyone praised him. He went through Nazareth, where he had been brought up on the Sabbath day. He went into the synagogue, as, as was his custom. And he stood up to read the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. Isaiah was, uh, take note, Isaiah was handed to him. He didn't pick that young book, but because of God's time, he was able to read that Isaiah. And rolling it, and he found the place where it is written, and the Spirit of the Lord is on me, because he has anointed me to preach the good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners of covenant and sight, for the blind to release the, the oppressed. To proclaim the heat of the Lord, Table. Then he rolled the roll the scroll, gave it back to the attendant, and sat down. The eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fastened on him, and he began by saying to them, Today the scripture is fulfilled in your people. That one made an impact in my life because God answers prayer. This is the, the answer of God through the, through the prophet, through the with the Hebrews that today is the God's favor. And for me, the, that answer, after 2,000 years, it brings to our place, and it's still being preached right now. And it's a goodness for everybody. Thank you all. <laughs> oh. Praise God. Amen. Are you blessed? Amen. Well, you know what? Um, first of all, I like what you have. You have the LCD, Love, Courtship, and Dating. And, you know, I, I need to tell you as a church, especially in our growing church, and you have a lot of young people, we need to educate our young people. If we don't educate them, the world will educate them. So it's better that we do this, and as parents, I would encourage you to actually even send your young people and even sponsor your friends. Why? Because this is the way that they can learn and grow in the things of God. If we don't do that, the world will do it. And so we need to make sure that we as a church are offering opportunities to be able to share the Word of God and to encourage our young people to be strengthened in the things of the Lord, the principles of God, because you know what? Whether we like it or not, it's going to happen. Love, courtship is going to happen. Right? Whether you like it or not, it's going to happen. So what we need to do as a church is to teach them what is the proper way. And we have a great speaker coming. You know that uh, Pastor Nat and Happy, what a great love story they have. Of how the Lord brought them together. And as young people, they're pastors of youth. And so they would be able to actually teach our young people. 
uh, you know, about uh, love and marriage and dating. And they will teach them, I can, you can trust in the fact that they will teach them the proper way and the right thing. And also, it will be a great opportunity for you to invite people who do not live, know the Lord because they will know what is the proper way as well. Because the people in the world don't know. They see it from magazines, they see it from the TV, and they do it that way. They see it from the television show. You know what, whether you like it or not, you go home, your children, when they go home from school, they turn on the TV, and what do they see in the TV? High school soaps that's going on with the way they're dating is totally wrong. Amen. Are you hearing me? That's what's going on. And so we have an opportunity to share to those people, the friends of your uh, children, to our, the opportunity to teach them what is right before God. All right, so this is a way that you can evangelize. And I'll tell you something, the church is offering these opportunities for you. Because if they didn't care about you, there would be no activities. It will be a lot easier. <laughs> are you hearing me? Right? It's a lot easier. But you know what? These are opportunities being given so that we can reach out, not only to educate our own young people, but to reach out to the world out there that do not know God. So this is an opportunity. Make sure that you participate and be a, uh, engaged in that so that you can be a part. If you want God to use you, you're going, Lord, you're praying, God, use me, use me. This is an opportunity that you can be used. Amen? Uh, also, by the way, uh, it, you know, we actually even in, in Brampton, we started uh, a new series. I don't know if you saw it on Facebook. We started a new series called Be Careful With My Heart. It's a whole new series. And so you can follow me on Facebook or you can follow it on uh, on iTunes. But it's Be Careful With My Heart. All throughout, we're, we're going to be, we started it this morning. Uh, next week, we'll be going on. It's just a great message. It's about love and, and about the heart and all those things. And so it's so important. I, I, I didn't preach it here, but you know, you can follow it on Facebook or iTunes. Okay? So anyway, let's uh, all stand and we're going to dismiss with the blessing of God. Just raise your hands to heaven as you receive the blessing. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for your word today. We're blessed coming in and we're blessed going out. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord shine his face upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance on you and give you his peace. May he cause you to walk under an open heaven. May he cause you to prosper in every area of your life even as your soul prospers. May he continue to open doors of opportunities for you that you can enter in and move on with the power of God. May he continue to fill you with the love and grace and the power of Spirit throughout this week and until it comes in Jesus' name, Amen. 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 God bless you.